right in the middle of the screen. We don't need a destination. Let's go where the river's taking us. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Geographical Centre of Tasmania, and welcome back to another video. Of course we are. We are currently on our way to Lake Sinclair. Lake Sinclair is located in Lake Sinclair National Park at the southern end of Cradle Mountain. So Cradle Mountain National Park is up north, Lake Sinclair down the bottom. If you guys haven't seen my Cradle Mountain vlog, I would I will link it up above for you guys and go check it out. So in this adventure, we're actually going to that southern end. But on our way, we are actually stopping at the geographical center of Tasmania. Behind me, you can see the beautiful western wildlands. Look at how old this map is. This monument was erected in 1983. Okay, so it's not that old, the actual monument. Oh, 660 meters above sea level. Cradle Mountain is up here, so that's where we were last video. And we are now down at Lake Sinclair. Well, we're heading there. We're about around here at the moment. And this is all that east coast, west coast. But that's where we are. Some amazing information here and the different geomorphological processes. So I can guarantee we'll be seeing some cirques today. The cirques, I never know how to say them, we'll definitely be seeing some moraines, definitely seeing moraines, probably striations, outwash coming from the moraines, and these single peaks too. So to give you guys an idea, we are here and we're gonna be walking this track to Platypus Pool. And we're going to be going up to these little uh, lakes. Won't do this one. It has snow on at the moment, but I don't think we'll make it. Well, official welcome to Lake St. Clair National Park. We have just gone in and gotten our day passes. Well, the two month pass that we want to use for the parks in the future. So Lake St. Clair, as I said, is south, south of Cradle Mountain. There is some snow on the peaks here and we're just here for a day. So we're not going to bite off more than we can chew. And we're definitely going to learn our lesson from the Cradle Mountain experience. And the time that they say to do these walks for the first time ever actually is the time it takes. Usually I smash those times, whatever they suggest, but these ones seem to be particularly accurate. If not, you kind of take longer than what they do say. So today we are actually going to go to Platypus Bay and see if we can see any platypuses and then we're going to go up to shadow lake so shadow lake it says here cynthia bay which is where we are that's where the lake sinclair visitor center is so cynthia bay to shadow lake it says three to four hours return 11 k's so we're going to try that usually they say to do it in a circuit so we're going to start here and we're going to go up to shadow lake now this is an indigenous um walk on the way back so lots of cultural art however it could be very very wet because of the snow melt that's occurring in the region and also it's very very steep it does say that that's a five hour return walk so we're not sure about times it is 10 42 so we're not here in the earliest just because we did drive up here so we're gonna get going we definitely will do shadow lake and then we'll make a decision at the top based on times how we're feeling energy all of that so welcome to lake sinclair so if you guys remember from that Cradle Mountain video that we were walking part of the Overland Track to go up to Marion's, well, this is also part of the Overland Track. The Overland Track, you can actually take depth from down south here all the way up through Cradle Mountain. There's like six to seven day hikes around here. It's amazing. I'd love to do it one day, but this is also the start of one of the sections of the Overland Track. So just letting you know. Oh, actually, look at this. This is where we are. Oh, that's where we are, Lake Sinclair. All the way up, and look, Ronnie Creek. Ronnie Creek was actually where we started our hike for Marion's Peak and Dove Lake. So, that's a bit of context. The Overland Track, bucket list one day. You all ready to go, Jade? Yep. <laughs> all ready to adventure again. Tasmania, so many options to explore. 
So Lake Sinclair, the deepest freshwater lake in Australia at 167 meters. So we're at Platypus Bay right now, but according to the lady at the visitor center, the water behind me is just a little bit too rough for the platypus to actually like to come up to the surface. But she did say at Shadow Lake we might have some luck as well, depending on conditions. So a bit sad, no platypus, but what can you do? That's nature. Okay, now off to Shadow Lake. Keen? Very keen. Jade's keen. I'm keen. Let's adventure! So this is us now and we're gonna go all the way up here. The moss on the trees just and the ground just makes it look so magical. Like a fairy garden. And so this is the type of track it is, it's not a, well it's well established but at the same time it's not smoothed or leveled so be careful on where the right shoes. Also came up with a fun way to carry on my cameras. Gotta get creative sometimes. Massive trees that were here. That's huge. How old do you reckon it is? I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> we were just saying this is supposedly like the easy chill low gradient half of the track and <laughs> she doesn't let up <laughs> like this this does not let up we've been walking for a solid hour and the incline has yeah not stopped Whew. very pretty though i mean true enough it is a gentle-ish gradient but when it doesn't let up at all your legs and calves and thighs start to notice. Do you agree? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. To the point, yes. Yes. Uh, can confirm. Oh. oh, I see snow. There's snow on that peak. We love the old trees. It looks really recent. Look at it. Wow. Yeah. Big one. So she's now starting to get boggy, which is what the lady at the visitor center said. Yeah. This part of the track is definitely starting to get wet. It's a wild jade emerging from the wilderness. You know how the lady oh, said, yeah. go an extra 10, 15 yeah. minutes and you won't regret it? Yeah. You keen? Yeah. Awesome. Now those clouds are fine with me, so long as they contain one thing. And I'll give you a hint. It's not rain. <gasps> Look! Snow! Snow! <laughs> it's snow! Listen to the frogs. Yeah. Can you guys hear the frogs? They're quite loud. Must be a wetland coming up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm wetland. So at the beginning, before we started the hike, I didn't show it, but we actually cleaned our boots with the brushes and the um, herbicide and uh, fungicide spray. Basically, the areas that we're in now have endangered species and protected species and nationally significant areas of concern. So if you see an area that, ha that lets you clean your boots, do all the sprays, please do it because it does stop you bringing in foreign and invasive species to a protected area to help protect the native wildlife. It's really important and really it should be standard practice. So if you see it, please do it. Really helps out nature. Oh my good, I see snow. <laughs> snow. 
So the peaks up ahead, they're part of the Lake Sinclair Basin. They're also dolerite as well, similar to Kanani Mount Wellington, and they're all formed in the same series of geological events. And it's pretty cool. If you ever wondered, that's what Wombat Poo looks like. It's really square and that's fresh. Look how crystal clear the water is. Hey! Come look in there. Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! <laughs> so, we did that faster than we thought. It's 1 pm now. So, if we go back the way we came, that makes it 3 pm. The other way adds an extra hour, and that means we don't get back till 4. Mm. We're going to walk an extra 15 minutes up this way to another vantage point that we got told about. So, we'll make a decision there, I think. Do, 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 do. So we've just had a little break on the shores of Shadow Lake. We did start walking to the Forgotten Lake, but we've also started looking at the time. We have a bit of a drive ahead of us, and you know what? You should always leave yourself wanting more. So yeah, we've decided to go back. We will be retracing our steps. Uh, there is the other section of the loop that we could do, but it does take an extra hour, hour and a half as to what we've already done. So really, if you want to do that whole loop, get here around 8 o'clock in the morning, not 10 o'clock like we did. So yeah, we've decided to play it safe. We're going to go back the way we came. I also lost a few of my screws from my GoPro, so I'm going to try and see if I can find them. And we're also going to go past and do the indigenous cultural walk to actually find out about this place on our way home. Look at this moss. Like an... It's so soft and pretty. Guess what? We made it! Learning the indigenous history. That is so sad. These walks never cease to amaze me. We've now got ferns. Such diverse environments in such a small place. It's insane. This is such a powerful statement. Learning and learning to work in symbiosis with the environment rather than against it. So this is the indigenous walk in recognition to the traditional peoples and owners of the area. So this bush right here, I believe is this one, and they used it and still do to make baskets. And that's really cool. Yeah, you can feel it, it's really, really tough. That's cool. We are done. So we finally made it to the home stretch, the final run back to the visitor center where we're hoping to get some hot food because we're a little bit hungry. Um, it was a great walk, definitely different to Cradle Mountain, expect different things. Definitely we'll come here about two, three hours earlier in the day, we'll probably stay near here overnight to get a full day here. But regardless, we had fun. Did you have fun? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. Don't forget to follow along on the journeys. I've got heaps more adventures coming up. And let me know if you guys have explored Lake Sinclair. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as it really supports my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.